Hello guys and welcome to Let's Play Banjo Chewy. This is part 10 and you see that jiggy up there? Yeah, we can't get that yet. That is one of the two jiggies that we cannot get. But over here, we have that um, cavern I was talking about with the poisonous gas. And so in here, um, if we can build drill all these boulders, we will find a Jinjo, um, some fire eggs, or some, well, an egg nest anyway. And empty honeycomb. Um, the ginger was back there, as you can see. I believe there's also some health and some gold feathers, but we can't stay in here that long. And we've gotten what we need to, so we are done with that area. Um, we have two jiggies to get in this part, and one more empty honeycomb, and then we sh we will be done. I shouldn't say we should be done. We will be done with the part of uh, glitter gold mine that we can get done. Um, so over here at the crushing shed, if you remember, we put the boulder inside, but never did do any follow-up on it, and um, we are going to do that now. If we go inside, and we go up to the conveyor belt, we will just see these things, um, that will do quite a bit of damage to you if they smash you, and invincibility feathers do not work, so we have to do them at the right timing, and I just got hit twice. And unfortunately, it's not that easy to tell, but anyway, there is a button over there, and if we hit it, it will stop the smashers and start the grinder and the conveyor belt. And we'll move the rock all the way down the conveyor belt in a long cutscene. And we'll then put the rock through the grinder, predictably, um, with that jiggy in the rock. Um, and so it's going to cut our jiggy up into a bunch of pieces and we'll see in just a second here that it is going to shoot the blasted rock matter out the top along with bits of gold that are in fact bits of a jiggy so we have to go and get all the pieces of that jiggy um, from around this area um, I think there's like four or five pieces they're not that hard they're all relatively outside the crushing shack um, but this is a little interesting mechanic that we have to go pick up pieces of it I believe there isn't one over there there's one over here so this is the first piece and as you can hear it only plays part of the song because we only got part of the jiggy and the more of the jiggy we get the more of the song it plays and here's the third part and apparently there is only three parts, so we now got that jiggy. We're only three minutes into the video. And if you come over here, you'll remember that we blew up a hut in here with the detonator. And we are now going to go back through that entrance. And we are actually going to end up in the flooded caverns, or the flooded caves. Um, this is a series of tunnels that are underwater and you have to make decisions on which ways to turn. Um, there's a jiggy in here and not much else of interest. But if you go, um, I believe it is one forward, I believe I went one too far. But if you go one forward and then to the right, which is now going to be my left, and then another left should be a jiggy over here um, it's pretty easy to drown in these caves because there's only a couple rooms that actually have a surface that you can surface and get air and at this point in the game you don't have a lot of air there are two cowboys over here but they're not a problem and we get that jiggy and so that is the last jiggy that we can get for now um, we should have eight in this level and there are just two that we cannot get uh, we now have one empty honeycomb to get, and then we will be done with Glitter Gulch, Glitter Gulch Mine, as it has taken a very large number of videos. I really did not intend for it to take this long, but then again, um, this LP will probably be rather long. It's a very in-depth game. But anyway, the last empty honeycomb piece is actually in a place you've already been, and I had completely forgotten about it while we were there. Um, then again, I had completely forgotten about the crushing shed, but we got that done anyway. Um, so we're going to warp to the train station, where we defeated Old King Cole, 
and the last empty honeycomb piece is actually inside a box in the train station. So if we go back here, there will be a box that we can smash. And I just heard the sound for a Cheeto page, which doesn't make much sense because we already got all the Cheeto pages. But it is this box, and if we smash it, we will get an empty honeycomb. So we now have three empty honeycombs, two more, and we can go see Honeybee and get more health. But we have to go unlock the next level to actually do that. So we are done with Glitter Gulch Mine for now. We will be returning. Um, what I think we are actually going to do now is do a couple of things that we can do now that we have the build drill. We are going to go back to Spiral Mountain first. Actually, no, we are not going to go back to Spiral Mountain. There's actually one more item that we are going to pick up pretty soon, and then we are going to go back to Spiral Mountain. And I'm actually going to kind of do this a little bit um, backwards. I'm not actually going to open the third level yet, but I'm going to go to the area of the Isle of Hags that it is at. Um, in here there's a Jinjo. Um, evidently a blue Jinjo in this game. Uh, yes, the Jinjo colors, if I have not said so before, will change, but the Jinjo locations will not. Um, if we shoot that switch with a fire arrow, uh, not fire arrow, this isn't Zelda. Um, fire egg, we will open up this gate, and we can then go through this cave to the digger area, um, or the, the digger made, but this is the third area on the Isle of Hags, and this is actually where the outside, um, outside world Humble Wumba's tent is, it is over there. Um, we can't do anything with it yet though, so I'm not even going to address it. There are notes in that boat. Um, there's an advertisement for the Flume of Doom ride that is out of order, and there is a jam jar's hatch there, and he is going to teach us how to use grenade eggs. And so we now get 25 grenade eggs. Um, they basically explode um, as grenades would, and then he'll fill up our health. We are going to... Actually, we could get some notes in the bottom of the um, body of water next to us. But we will have to return here later, so I will just get them then. And not waste any more time. Because now that we have the grenade eggs, we are going to go back to Spiral Mountain and get some extras. Not really extras. No, they kind of are extras, but you will see what I'm getting in a minute. First, though, in Ginger Village, if we don't get lost and we go behind the green ginger house back to this area over here we will notice a sandy sort of area with a ledge that we can actually grip grab and are going to do so and if we can avoid these monsters there will be a prize waiting for us at the end that you guys may or may not recognize um, for those of you who have played this game any somewhat in depth you already know what this is but if we come back down here, it will all of a sudden get cold, and there will be a pack, a cartridge. And it is a Banjo-Kazooie game cartridge game pack, and if we pack it, it will release the ice key. Yes, there is an ice key in this game, and it actually serves a purpose in this game. But we did just get the ice key that you can originally get in Banjo-Kazooie, and we did in fact do that now. But we are going to go back to Spiral Mountain and get two more things from Banjo Kazooie. And they are, in fact, related to the stop and swap, just like that ice key is. Um, you do need the grenade eggs and the grip grab to do this. So now that I have both, um, I'm going to come back and do it. What you have to do, and actually, there is another thing we can do, and I'm going to do it first because it's actually really important. If we break this rock over here, we will find a goldfish underneath of it. And Banjo is going to be like, hey goldfish, shouldn't you be in water? And he's going to tell him, you know, here's a sign. But anyway, what we have to do here is we're going to pick the fish up and we're going to take him back to the moat around Spiral Mountain. And he is actually going to be very, very, very helpful for us because if we throw him back in the water, actually, if we jump in and release him, 
he is going to increase the bubbles that we have for oxygen so we can stay underwater longer now. And Kazooie asked for a Jiggy, but he doesn't have one. But he is also going to teach us how to swim faster. And now we can swim using both Banjo's legs and Kazooie's uh, wings at the same time. And go a lot faster than we used to. But anyway, continuing on, if we can get up Spiral Mountain to the flight pad, um, we can go over to that grate that you saw this way over there and if we switch to our grenade eggs and I don't think I can shoot them while I'm flying yet but there is a little ledge I can land on I believe um, you will learn to move later so that you can shoot eggs while you're flying but it's not really necessary for this because you can just land there and if we open that there's another game cartridge here and if we attack this one it will release the pink secret egg and we now have that secret egg from uh, the stop and swap and if we fly up above the waterfall which is back this way you can see a cave entrance up there and in fact we can go in there and are going to do so because there's another game pack in there um, flying is really slow not much I can do about it but if we go inside here um, against the current but nonetheless inside here we will end up um, behind the waterfall is, is what the area is officially called and we can see that game pack over there but we can't get to it so if we backflip here we can actually grab along this ledge climb up here and take this path back here to where the game pack is and if we attack this one it will release the blue secret egg and if you remember from multiple videos ago the last time we were in Wooded Hollow I showed you Peggy the Hen who asked if we had any eggs well we do now have eggs and those secret eggs do serve a purpose in this game we can go have Peggy hatch them and they will unlock certain things I believe one of them unlocks Jin uh, Jinjo as a multiplayer character in the multiplayer mode and I believe the other one gives us the sheet for homing eggs um, which we can go enter at Mayhem Temple's code chamber and then our eggs will actually bend and follow enemies around and before it hits them. The homing eggs aren't like 100% accurate, we can't shoot like completely opposite direction and expect to hit something, but if we're off by a little bit then the path will move. Um, other than that, I'm probably just going to come over here and get this treble clef above the uh, red ginger house. You need grip grab to get this um, because you will grab that ledge and you can't get up there normally. So that is another 20 notes to add to our universal note stock that we have in this game, which I kind of haven't addressed, that the notes carry on out of levels and such, and um, don't actually get deducted, there are no such thing as note doors, and when we die we don't lose any progress in a level, which is really nice. But in the next video we will be unlocking the next level and actually having Peggy uh, hatch those eggs and then we will probably start the next level so um, for now I'm just going to leave it at that and I thank you guys for watching.